Hi, I'm Maddie from Cool Smart, and I'm going to show you our, a little demo on our Apple Core. This is what the instructions look like. And on the back, you've got yardage, and on the inside, you've got great instructions and some cutting. And basically, what you're going to do is to make an applique. We are not doing any curved piecing. That's kind of the exciting part about the Apple Core. So let me show you just a quick demo on how we do that. We start with, this is the what the interfacing looks like. And I put a little slit in there first and put it rough side against the right side of the fabric. Now, here is a great tip. This is a stick and press. It's called from Bear Thread Designs. Uh, my great friend Veronica Cox, that's her company, and she makes the applique pressing sheet as well as this wonderful stick and press sheet, which is stuck to your ironing board all the time. That's what's so great about it. It's always there, able to use it. What you're going to do is take your iron, and this is instead of pinning, and just quickly fuse around the edge of your apple core. And what that does is that's going to hold it in place really nicely while you sew it. So the next step is going to be that you stitch on the solid line all the way around, pivoting at the corners, and then you trim on the dashed line all the way around, and then you turn it. Now when you turn it, I have a few turned here already. You can see that you've got the great little apple core shape. So now we're going to take a purple thang and you can use that to poke the corners out. Now make sure you keep this be under the seam allowance. Um, and not between just not just by the interfacing because you don't want to poke through the interfacing So that gives you these really beautiful corners and now I'm going to show you how you put those on your background So you've got a background of on point squares and at each intersection is where the apple core goes So you're going to just center that and match the corners up with the seams and I want you to watch in the middle and you can see what is happening there. And this is the magic of this pattern. Look what happens, that background became another apple core. Then you're gonna fuse these on and then in one fell swoop, you can zigzag down one side, another, and then go across. And that's all there is to the apple core. Now I'm just gonna show you a couple little pieces we have made. So this is what it looks like. So in other words, half of these, and I can only tell because I'm up so close, are the apple cores. And the other half, so like this is a background, that's a background, here's the apple core, here's the apple core. So you can see how that goes together. Here's one that I did, and you can see that the apple cores are going diagonal. That's because I took the background and sewed it straight. So that's sort of a little variation you can do if you want. And this one is really fun. This is an I spy quilt and all made with the apple core. So you can see that that would just be a great stash buster. We even have a photograph in there. So those are my kids from a little while ago. So that's a really fun um, thing to think about too. And then here's one that's just a um, fun group of fabrics. And again, you can get a really good idea of, um, you've got all these beautiful curves but yet you didn't have any curved piecing. So it's a great quilt to make, a great stash buster. And again, what you're gonna need is your Apple Core instructions and interfacing, and those come together in a pack. And don't forget your purple thing. And this is a very cool tool, the stick and press. So have fun sewing.